In this video, we're going to learn about testing for equality in Java. So our first couple of lines here, we declared two int variables, and int is a primitive type. So we notice over here when we look at our stack and our heap, all the data for these primitive types is stored in the stack. So when we check equality, we're checking equality of the data that's in the stack, and 4 is equal to 4, so this is going to output true. Now, we have a couple of arrays, C and D. Now C, we declared it, and we initialized it as 1, 2, 3, and 4. And there we go. The data itself is in the heap. All that's in the stack is the memory address, the pointer pointing to the area of the heap. So when we set D equal to C, we create a new int array D and set it equal to C, we copied the memory address, we copied the pointer, so these are now pointing to the same object. So when we say C equals D, what this is checking is not the actual data in the heap, but it's checking the data in the stack. And this is the memory address, and the memory address is the same. They're pointing to the same memory location, so these are equal. Now we create two more int arrays, E and F. And these we create separately, so they're pointing to two different memory locations. So when we say this E equal F, again, we're not checking the data in the heap, we're checking the data in the stack, and the memory location of E is different than the memory location of F, so these are not equal, so we get a false. Okay, and finally, we show the proper way to compare two arrays is, first we have to import java.util.arrays. Then we use arrays.equals, and we pass the two arrays we want to compare, in this case E and F. And arrays.equals, what that does is it actually checks the contents. Of the, of the variables. So, you know, the data in the heap, it compares them, see the values are the same, the size of the arrays are the same, so it returns true. So we're going to continue in the next video learning about checking equality in Java.